Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Betty at Penny Pension Diva. Do you hate it when people look over your shoulder? They're just so nosy. But anyway, uh, we're going shopping a, a day early. My granddaughter is, uh, and her brothers and sisters is uh, sick, so I won't be babysitting today. So I'm going grocery shopping a day early. And uh, that was my Halloween craft this year. Um... So I'm going to take advantage and go and get groceries a day early so I won't have to cut it short tomorrow to go and get her from school. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to got my uh, honey-do list here so I don't forget anything that we need. So, let's turn you... Alrighty, guys. I'm just going to grab me some lunch before I go out. And here is my buffalo dip that I make. I talk about it in my Walmart hauls all the time, having to get the ranch and the canned chicken and the buffalo and I always talk about the four ounces that I'm allowed to eat and you can see here where it's four ounces and this is how small it is told you I eat like a toddler four ounces and you can see here I'll put it back on there four ounces and this is a meal for me and it fills me up Just thought I'd share that with you. Four ounces of uh, buffalo chicken dip. This is what it looks like. Uh, cream cheese, canned chicken, uh, shredded cheese. I use cheddar, buffalo, um, Frank's buffalo sauce, excuse me. Uh, some vinegar, some butter, you know, if you want seasoning in it. I don't always put seasoning in it, but if I do, excuse the background. Uh, my husband wants tuna fish tonight, so that's what I'll be making for him. I'll probably have this. Uh, um, tuna fish is okay. It's not my favorite, but, you know, every once in a while I might get in the mood for it. But, yeah, this is what I'm going to have for lunch before I head out. You know, that way I don't get hungry. Sometimes if I get too hungry and I'm away from home and can't eat, I'll get sick. Uh, and I don't want to start picking up the habit of fast food. Um, that's what helped get me well over 200 pounds. And... That you, you, we all know that that's a habit that can get bad real quick. Um, and I don't want to gain the weight back. Um, I'm not where I need to be, but I'm way away from where I was. And I'm way healthier. I feel a lot better. And I, I want to keep going in the right direction. So, and it, we all know that it's harder to get it off and real easy to get it back on. So... I'm trying real hard to be a big girl. <laughs> so I got to put the big girl pants on and cheers to my healthier lunch. All right. See y'all at the store. Bye-bye. When I say I'm well stocked, I was not kidding. This is only one of my freezers. This is my, my kind of personal freezer that I keep my stuff that I eat Nobody else's stuff is supposed to be in here. That way I know it's my surgery stuff that I eat that is not always, you know, good for me. You know, like popsicles are sugar-free, but I do eat some processed stuff. My husband's freezer. Yes, it needs to be defrosted. But this is his personal freezer, which those are the grandkids' french fries. I don't know what they're doing in here. But, like, he keeps his shrimp and his steak and his uh, flavored sausages and things like that in here that nobody else eats. I mean, he'll share it with them if they're here, but it pretty much is bought for him. Because um, I don't eat stuff like that. It's too hard for me to chew. It's a texture thing. I, it's always been that way for me. And now with the surgery, if I can't chew it up good enough, like steak and, and like, stew chunks... I, I can't swallow it. it. It'll make my stomach hurt. So it's pretty much bought for him. So this is his his personal freezer. <clears throat> and in this refrigerator, or this freezer, excuse me, we keep uh, things like frozen bread, uh, French fries. Uh, and this is some um, tortellini, some chicken sandwiches, ice bags of ice. This was from the cooler. 
uh, from the hurricane. We had bought ice and didn't need it, so I bagged it up. There was no sense in wasting all that money. There was nothing put in it. It was just ice in the cooler, uh, so it was good ice. Um, all of this frozen vegetables. Um, didn't know that we had it. It was in a lay-down freezer, so it was covered up with everything. So I transferred it over here so we could see. Uh, that's frozen broth. Um, different vegetables, corn on the cob, uh, some cut up green peppers, some frozen uh, dry beans, uh, Great Northern, they are already cooked. But yeah, um, when I say that we've, we're stocked, we've, we've got plenty of little bit of everything. Uh, and I like it that way, that way, you know, my kids need something you know, if I've got it, it's theirs, you know, or not even just my kids, you know, friends or other family members, you know, I would hope that they would do that for me, you know, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to know that somebody's going hungry if I have something I could give them, so I like to keep it stocked, so I don't know, that's just the way I am. And this is the goody one. <laughs> uh, ice cream, uh, stuff for smoothies in the back, pizza, corn dogs, um, what do you call those things? Toaster strudels, frozen orange juice. There's some more of those frozen water bottles. We got freeze pops down there. Uh, some frozen, not really frozen, but it's yeast for pizza dough. Uh, what are these? Icy slushies and uh, daiquiris on the floor. Well, we, we ain't looking at those. Those are the adult things. Uh, but yeah, uh, when I say I'm I'm stocked, I'm stocked. Um, uh oh, helicopters going over. Sorry. Weekly is just you know fill-ins. You know, um, eggs, milk, bread, that kind of thing. Um, so even at the first of the month, I'm probably not going to need to do. Yeah, I'm probably not going to need to do any meat shopping because there's a lot of chicken. Um, I might need some beef. There's a little bit there. I like to have a little more than that because like I told y'all before, I share. Um, those are my individual meals that I, I make leftovers and store for me. Because like I told y'all, I can only eat like four ounces at maximum. Um... I make pig in the blankets and freeze them for, you know, the kids and my husband, or the grandkids, excuse me, and my husband. And those are his uh, brisket chunks that he freezes, cuts up and freezes. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to head to the store. That right there, I make um, my own broth. Uh, turkey broth, chicken broth, you know, stuff like that with ham chunks. Ham chunks, listen to me. Ham bone, um, turkey bones, chicken. Anything like that, and I save my, my vegetable scraps, and I make my own broth. I've been doing that for a while. I like to can. Um, my fajita meats. Uh, those are my chickens. It just fits better in here. I love wontons. I just don't eat them that much because, you know, the carb thing is not enough of protein, but I do have them occasionally. Uh, zero sugar Cool Whip. Those are for going to be for the holidays. Uh, if I let myself have a, a little sliver of pie, I don't know yet. Um, occasionally, I do eat uh, maple sausage. If I do, it'll just be one, but that's for my husband. Um, Uh-oh. Um, cheeses, lunch meat. I do eat this. Um, turkey sausage crumbles. I do those in my breakfast bowls or on pizza. I don't eat much pizza because it's, you know, the carbs. I don't, I don't, I can't tolerate the bread. So I'll make like a pizza bowl without the, the bread. Uh, these are good in biscuits to make like a little pig in the blanket. Instead of a hot dog, you, you use the smoky sausage. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we're going to get out of here and go get uh, this chicken here. I get from 
um, Sam's Club. It's the knockoff Chick-fil-A chicken chunks. My husband and my grandkids swear by it that it tastes like Chick-fil-A. Uh, and I hear about it on YouTube. I don't prefer it, but they do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go to Walmart and get groceries. So stay tuned for that haul. Uh, it's probably going to be small. It'll be a mixture of uh, groceries and non-groceries. So uh, yeah, get back with you with that. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Got to get the husband some sour cream. I usually eat a little bit. So I get the light so we can both can have it. Always got to have eggs. So I have two at home. I usually keep two on hand extra. Alrighty, the kids have plenty of, or the grandkids, sorry, uh, have plenty of snacks at home at my house, but I sent the ones that I bought of these home with their dad so they can have snacks at his house. So I'm going to get some for this weekend when they come to my house. Alrighty, I got me two packs of soda. Not sure if I'm going to get them or put them back. My husband said he wants his zero sugar Mountain Dew. But like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get mine. Got some confection sugar. Make some peanut butter balls for the holidays. I'm going to put them in the freezer, have them prepared ahead of time. That's a once over for the buggy. I'll do a grocery haul when I get home. These little Halloween toys are cute for the dogs. We don't have our chihuahua anymore. I miss her. But they're cute. Alrighty guys, we're here in stationery in Walmart. I am looking for laminating sheets and labels for my um, binders for the side so I can tell which uh, binder is which. That way I don't play the guessing game. <laughs> I hate doing that when I'm on camera. Um, so I thought I'd get something to put on the side. That way I can tell what it is. So let's see what we can find. Alrighty, I think these are the best ones to fit on the side for the space that I have. So, I'll get these. Alrighty, I wanted to get the 5 mil. I'm just going to get a small pack because I'm going to use them to do my travel binder uh, pockets, envelopes, whatever you call them. So I'm gonna get the five mil, make them a little sturdier. And they are 11.42. All righty, I'm looking for legal pads. Mm, here we go. I don't necessarily need a 12 count, but it looks like that's all they've got. I want the white ones. Here we go, in my buggy. I mean, they'll get used. I just didn't necessarily need a 12 count. That's cute. The little sweater pumpkins. $14.98. You got the orange, the tan, and the white. I'm looking for me another uh, coffee tumbler because my Hocus Pocus one I got last year or the year before cracked and it got water between the two layers so I'm SOO and I haven't been able to find another one I don't know if they're not going to have them this year or I'm just overlooking them these are cute they look like glass but they're really plastic it says Boo Juice I like the ones with the skull hands wrapped around it. I have some from the Dollar Tree that has the the stand on it, whatever you would call it. Looks like the arm coming up and the hands holding the cup. 
Look at all the little dog costumes. Dressed up like a cowboy. Dressed up like a cow. I think that's a dragon. Mommy, there's so much. And that's cute. The little gremlin guy in a pumpkin costume. I love gremlins. All the little hair accessories for girls for Halloween. All of my girls so far are going to be Wonder Woman, Elsa, and uh, Vampire S Lady, <laughs> whatever you call her. My grandson Chance is going to be uh, um, Five Nights at Freddy. I think his name is Foxy. My grandson is going to be uh, a Ninja Turtle. And then my other grandson, I'm not sure what he's going to be yet. I don't think he's picked up. Alrighty, guys. So, um, you just got out of Walmart. And I didn't find me a Halloween tumbler for my coffee. You know, because, like I said, mine uh, cracked. And the, when I would wash it, it would fill up with water between the layers. So, that wasn't good. You know, it'd get all mildew inside of it. I didn't want that. Um, so I've got to go run to Publix and get me some lunch meat. I'm real picky about my lunch meat. If it doesn't look good, I, I won't eat it. Um, so let's run to Publix and get that. I'll take a look and see if they by chance have one there. Uh, Dollar Tree didn't have one yesterday or day before when I went. So I'll just keep looking. You know, if I don't get one, it's not the end of the world. And the humidity here in Florida is not doing any wonders with my hair. So excuse the mess. <laughs> All right, see you later. See you at Publix. Talking about the humidity here in Florida. Fall is coming. November 5th, I believe, is the first day of official fall. Or maybe that's when the time changes. I'm not real sure. But, Lord, if it's going to be fall anytime soon and the weather's changing, it better get on the ball because it sure is hot and sweaty here in Florida. So... It's funny how the older I get, the warmer it is when it's supposed to be cool and fallish. I sure miss those uh, cooler times when I was younger. Even when my kids were younger, especially my two older ones were younger. Um, I always liked it when the coolness came in the air. It wasn't cold outside, but you could just tell the a coolness was coming, you know. And I would start getting the sweat clothes, you know, bought up because I knew the winter was coming. I just missed those times when the kids were little. <laughs> and the cool weather, you know, buying all the, the cold clothes, the winter clothes. And now, hell, it's Christmas and we're still wearing shorts and tank tops <laughs> here in Florida. I don't know about where you live at. Even though right now I've got a sweatshirt on, only... You know, due to the surgery and the weight loss, uh, you know, I have times where I get colder. And right now, even though I'm, you know, a little warm, it's still doable. But I'll get in the grocery store and freeze my behind off and need a coat, you know, like a thin sweatshirt like I got on or hoodie or something. But, yeah, it still is nothing like it used to be, you know, when fall was coming and the leaves would fall and... You know, you'd have a breeze in the air and you just knew fall was coming. Not now, boy. If you feel a breeze coming, you know a storm's coming. <laughs> not not fall. Oh, yeah, you guys. Look, Minnie and Mickey Thanksgiving. That is so cute. I love Minnie and Mickey. I love Disney. If you haven't noticed by my uh, YouTube scenery. Okay, these are what I'm, I was talking about. I have these, but I got mine at the Dollar Tree. I've got purple and orange. These little cups are adorable. Pumpkin, the little monster, ghost. Oh, look, they got the Halloween Mickey and Minnie, too. Oh, these are cute. I don't know if it's like a little candy bowl or what. Those are cute. And then they've got little coffee mugs. I really like that. 
I like this right here. I would use that to put my um, dish sponge in. <laughs> Got a pumpkin one. I love that. Got the candy out. Sorry, guys. Uh, still no coffee tumbler, though. So I guess I'm SOL. Publix lunch meat is a little, well, I wouldn't say a little. It's a lot more pricier than, say, Walmart meat. But it's a better quality because I'm very picky on my lunch meat. If it's got a lot of fat in it or, say, like the gristle part, you know, like when you bite into it, it's tougher. I can't eat it. I, I just It just ruins it for me. And I can't eat meat just by itself. You know, it's got to be on bread or wrapped up in cheese, like a meat roll-up. And if you bite into something hard or a big stringy fat, it just, just turns you off. You know, you can't finish your meal, or at least I can anyway. Look at all the crazy shaped gourds. Isn't it funny how they can grow like that? <laughs> I love the multicolored corn. This sounds really good. Apple cider um, donuts. I always look forward to the fall. Uh, when these flavors come out, pumpkin bread, yum, yes please, not on the menu, but yes please, pumpkin donuts, pumpkin cake, iced pumpkin, yum, <laughs> gotta get my popsicles sugar free. I like the tropical and the regular. And they only have one box of tropical, so I'll have to come back on another day. I have seen the bomb pops that are sugar-free on YouTube videos, but I can't find them here where we live, so I'm out of luck. Yeah, these look good. Pumpkin decorated donuts yum 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 alrighty guys we're home uh, I got the eggs boiling for my husband's tuna so here's our groceries I'll get it all out for you show you what we got and I'll just tell you at Publix we spent uh, $35.01 and for Walmart we spent <laughs> $95.01 my uh, saving challenges we did the other day, I just kept hitting those uh, ones on the dice and one dollar uh, increments. But uh, for Walmart, it wasn't all groceries. It was some stationary uh, products for my office. Um, so I'll have to divvy that up when I do my bills tomorrow. Um, this will be a two-parter. Well, actually, this will be the grocery haul day in a life. Uh, tomorrow will be my uh, budgeting and state and uh, cash stuffing. But yeah, let me get this out and I'll show you what I got. Hold just a minute. Alrighty, alrighty, guys. Uh, we're gonna start right here. I got my husband two six packs of zero sugar Mountain Dew. This will probably be the last week that I buy these because he doesn't need them any more than me. And I did not buy me any at Publix or Walmart. I put them back. I did buy me 120 ounce to drink while I was gone. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be getting them anymore. Um, for the non-food items, if I can get it up here. I got the little labels to go on the side of my binder so I can know which one I'm grabbing without having to actually pull it out. Uh, I got some laminating pouches, 5 mil, for my travel, travel, excuse me, binder. And the... Uh, notepads legal pads i didn't need a 12 pack but that was all they had uh but it'll get used it'll it'll last a while um so i'll come over here to the cold stuff and the the food products that's wet bags going to be recycled we will save these and use these oops sorry um 
steak sauce. We prefer the great value steak sauce just as well as uh, the A1 brand name. Uh, and this has gone up in price very much. I remember paying uh, for the 10 ounce like a dollar, dollar 10, and it is now 278. It, it's ridiculous. Um, Hidden Valley Ranch, like I said in my last video, uh, this is for my husband. I use the Great Value Fat Free. That was like 562 for that. That's crazy. I can get that at Sam's Club for a way bigger bottle, but I didn't feel like going to Sam's when technically that's really all I needed. That would have been a Sam's product. Everything else I get at, at Walmart. Uh, powdered sugar, I got two of those. There's just 218. Um, I don't remember the prices for everything that I got, but I'll tell you, I'll get the receipt and tell you as I go. Uh, 218 for powdered sugar, a bag. I will be making peanut butter balls. Some people call them Buckeye balls to put in the freezer. I won't chocolate them just yet because some of the family members like them without the chocolate. Um, but those will be for the holidays coming up, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, hold just a minute. Let me uh, start my timer for my eggs. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll do the peanut butter balls, get them frozen. That way when the holidays come, all I have to do is chocolate them. Um, but like I said, some like them with the chocolate, some like them without. So I do both. Uh, moving on. Let me get the receipt. That way I can tell you as I go along. Uh, Daisy Light. I'm not real picky on what sour cream I use as long as it's light or fat free. Uh, because of... I've been on Weight Watchers for friggin' ever. Uh, my husband's not picky. He'll eat how I eat on, on the diet. Fat-free cheese, fat, oh, excuse me. I boogered that up. Fat-free cheese or fat-free ranch, whatever. He, he doesn't mind. Um, it all tastes the same to him. But um, sour cream was two forty eight. I got the um, salad cucumbers or mini cucumbers. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, we love those. I, I like any cucumber, really. Um, let's see what those was. Those were $1.97. The market side uh, salad mix was $1.88. We like to get that to make salads with. Uh, the holiday, excuse the light here, sorry. That's my overhead um, pot holder. Um, I got the ghost and the pumpkin again, because like I said in the store, I sent those home with the dad so they can make those. Um, those were, wow, three sixty-eight a piece. I remember they used to be two fifty. I'm sorry, guys. This will probably be a video of complaining. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my Publix receipt. I should have done this separate, and I didn't think. I just started unloading bags. Uh, my popsicles are five ninety-nine. They're about five something at Walmart, so I didn't spend too much more getting them at Publix. Um, like I said, I get the orange and cherry grape, and then I get the tropical. My favorite is the orange cherry grape, but I get both just for a variety. My grandkids like the Totino's pizza. They like the cheese and the pepperoni, and I get these for lunches for quickies. Um, those were, let's see here, for a four-pack, $7.64 each pack. Uh, the Canadian bacon, I got that to make a pizza. Home, I like to make homemade pizzas. I got that at Publix, and that was $4. Um, the Boar's Head pepperoni was gotten at Publix, and that was, let's see here, five nineteen. dollars The mozzarella and the Italian cheese was both gotten at Publix, and that was both three nineteen dollars a piece. The Great Value Eggs, 18 count, extra large. I like to get 18 count and the extra large. Those were $1.92 a piece. That's not bad because at one time, these was close to $4, $5 a piece. You know, I know you all know we went through that time frame where eggs was ridiculous. You were praying you had your own chickens. Uh, I had to go to Publix and get my own ham. I got just like about a half a pound. It wasn't quite a half a pound of the Publix cooked ham. It was four ten a, a half a pound. And I believe that was it, yeah. Aside from my uh, 20 ounce uh, Coke Zero I got. But yeah, that'll do it for our um, haul. I'll just pan out again and let you see 
what I got. Like I said, I showed you before I left how our freezers are stocked. Uh, tomorrow is the, or this week will be the 29th, so it'll be the last paycheck of September. So next Friday will be the first of the month. And like I said, I don't think that I'm going to need to get a big grocery haul like I normally would. So it'll probably be another fill-in. But I will need hamburger meat, which I showed you. I've got some, but I like to have probably twice that amount. That way I can help people out and have plenty for myself. Because we eat a lot of hamburger. We eat a lot of chicken. Um, buffalo chicken dip, chicken fajitas, um, chicken quesadillas, chicken and yellow rice, uh, chicken and dumplings, chicken strips. You name it. We eat a lot of chicken meals. Um, fried chicken, baked chicken, chicken and broccoli casserole. I haven't made that in forever. That's good. Um, I think I said chicken and yellow rice. We like fried, um, what do you call that? Fried rice with chicken in it. Orange chicken, you know, the Chinese uh, version. You name it. We, we love chicken. We love beef. We don't cook uh, pork chops much so much anymore. Uh, we love fried pork chops, uh, barbecue pork chops. Oh, we love barbecued chicken, pulled pork, uh, pork chicken, you know, barbecued version. Um, we like to smoke um, chicken. Man, we just, we just do all kind. Barbecue ribs, yum. We love that with some yellow rice, some green beans. Uh, my husband is getting a new um, smoker for Christmas. He had two smaller versions, uh, but he wanted a bigger one. And so he's getting it for Christmas. And the two smaller versions, we're giving uh, one to my ex-son-in-law, who I babysit for. The kids come for visitation. Uh, they like stuff like that, him and his, his children. Uh, so we're giving one to him. And then... The mother, my daughter, the mother of those children, we're giving the other one to her and her husband because they like to do stuff like that as well. So those two won't go to waste. They'll, they'll get put to good use. So I didn't mind getting another one for him for Christmas. So, yeah, we'll be smoking some meat and getting it in the freezer. And, you know, we have generators. So when the power goes out, we have two generators. So we can hook them up and our meat won't go to waste. So... You know, we can smoke a lot of meat up ahead of time and you just pop that stuff in the oven and reheat it or the microwave, you know, and people lose their power. We can help them out with meals that are already cooked and, you know, they can just warm it up and on a grill and there you go. Or even if they didn't lose their power, we can just help them out with a, a pre-cooked meal. You know, if they fall on hard times, you know, we like doing that, you know, like I said, if, if we were in need, we'd want somebody to help us. So we, we do that. You know, money, money's tight. Prices are crazy. So yeah, we, we don't mind lending. Lending with no strings attached, but you know, there's always that hope that they would, you know, lend that hand back and they do. All right. Well, sorry for the rant. <laughs> I, you can see my eggs boiling in the back. I'm waiting for the timer to go off. So I could put that in my husband's tuna. But yeah, uh, so this is it for my grocery haul. It was a, a small one. Still cost me probably $120, I think. Um, I didn't total it up. Probably $130. But yeah, come back tomorrow and join me for my um, budgeting and cash stuffing for paycheck number five for September. It was a magic month for us. But it was also magic expenses. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? You get extra money or overtime and you get those uh, bigger bills. You know, it never fails. Something else comes up. But let me get out of here and uh, get these cold stuff put up and get that tuna made. It's always better when it's colder. And uh, pan over here, get these dishes done. I, I swear, I don't know how. It's just me and my husband here most of the time. But I swear we use just as much dishes as... Uh, if we had a, uh, all the kids home, you know, when they were younger. I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> I swear somebody breaks in and uses our dishes while we're sleeping. But yeah, uh, I hope you're having a good day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the budgeting and the cash stuffing. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. Got the dishes done, like I said. 
clean sink. Uh, got the husband's tuna done. Lucky likes it. Gonna put it in the refrigerator that way it's kind of good and cold for him for supper. These are the leftover eggs. Uh, they're peeled for whoever wants to snack on them. Good pro uh, protein for me, the husband too. Uh, I had a few in the refrigerator already peeled. I used those, put them in the tuna first and a couple of what you've seen on the counter. Um, so I'll probably eat some of these for a snack. He will too. Uh, probably me mostly. But yeah, I got the tuna done. Now I'm going to go in there and edit the my grocery haul. Have me a protein snack. And then wait 30 minutes to be able to drink something. Finish off that uh, soda that I shouldn't have got. But yeah, I'll finish it off. And um, edit the video while I do that. And wait to do my uh, budgeting video tomorrow. Hope you join me for that. So have a good day. Bye-bye.